the four pillars of NLP. NLP has what we call the four pillars and the three principles. The three principles have already been dealt with in a previous video. So in this video, we're turning to the four pillars of NLP. The four pillars are called outcome, rapport, sense security, and flexibility. So let us turn to the first of these pillars, outcomes or goals. It is often said that all of NLP is based on outcome. Your outcome, your client's outcome, your company's outcome. You will learn during your NLP practitioner program how to set good goals or outcomes. One of the first processes you will learn would be SMART goals. Once you have clearly established the goal or outcome that you require, the next step would be certain procedures that will help you actually obtain the goal. Goals may be something tangible or could simply be for you to feel better. In NLP, we refer to feelings as states. In all therapeutic processes, we could describe the process as simply moving from an unwanted state or feeling to a wanted state or feeling. Goals on their own cannot be states, as a state is just a feeling and you can control feeling any time you like. A goal could be a way to allow you to always have good feelings which would normally be connected to your lifestyle. So outcome becomes one of the pillars of NLP and something that we always have in mind working with ourselves, others and companies. In coaching, one of the first things we establish is what is the goal or outcome of our client. So now I hope you can see why goals or outcomes are one of the first pillars of NLP. The second of our four pillars is called rapport. Rapport can be described as more than just a passing acquaintance with another person, more a deeper interaction on the physical and mental level. This deeper connection brings about brings about a natural trust between the parties. Rapport is generally a natural way of communicating with another person. In fact, it's so natural that we often forget to take the moment that is required to build good rapport. Rapport was one of the first things that had been modelled using NLP. This modelling process was fairly simple and was just a question of looking at people that are naturally in rapport as well connected to each other and compare them with people that are not naturally connected. From this process of modeling, a lot of quick and simple methods of getting into rapport were developed. Overall, it was established that before you can have a meaningful conversation with another person, you must first be connected with that person or be in good rapport. Therefore, rapport is our second pillar of NLP. The third pillar of NLP is called sensory acuity. Basically, this means noticing things about the other person and also noticing at a deeper level than a casual glance. In NLP, we say that details are not always necessary. So the question is, how do we know that what we are doing is working? One of the ways of confirming that our interventions are working is by noticing the differences that we can observe in the other person. These differences can be visual, auditory or kinesthetic or any combination thereof. You will be surprised how little you actually notice when communicating with another person. And yet a large amount of your communication is actually non-verbal. We will go deeper into sensory acuity during the program. 
For now, it is important not to put any meaning on anything you notice. Getting into the habit of noticing differences is one of the skills of a good NLP practitioner. It may sound simple, but in reality, you will be surprised at how much you do not notice from day to day and moment to moment. Our fourth and final pillar is called flexibility. You have no doubt heard the famous NLP saying, which goes, if you always do what you always did, you'll always get what you always got. So if you want something different, you must do something different. This classically highlights the importance of flexibility. Flexibility is often confused. It does not mean giving in. What it does mean is to take a more flexible approach to what is going on in your life. We also learn in NLP the following. If what you're doing is not working, do something else. You'll be surprised at the number of people who just give up when something doesn't work. Just give up because they have no flexibility. So now we have gone over the four pillars and in another video we have dealt with the three principles of NLP. Thank you.